Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. Sherrod, thank you so much for being here today, buddy. So let's jump on in. It's very simple. We got a couple questions for you, and these um, are going to be obviously specific to you. How do you balance risk and reward when making your investment decisions on the path or currently even to reaching 1 million net worth plus? Um, I mean, for me, you know, I'm, I'm a very conservative guy. So when I started out investing, for me, the biggest the highest priority was making sure like there was some financial stability for my family. So I didn't, I didn't feel like I had to work for money. So that's why I started out buying rental properties. And my goal was very aggressively to pay them off. So I have 50 plus units and majority of them are paid off. Uh, I think I have like one kids on like four or five of them. Uh, so that was like a big priority for me uh, just to have that financial stability, um, to pay them off. But so you had an eye and I know, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. I had a goal. Like I said, like I was hyper focused on that goal. I didn't like everything else was just a distraction. Just like, again, you know, comes back to that one thing. I was like super, super focused on that one thing. I'm like, okay, this is all I want. I'm just going to be very focused, you know, go full speed ahead with this and just make it happen. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was good. Um, but yeah, now, now it's, it's to the point where, you know, of course, taking care of family comes first. Um, so once that taken care of any leftover money that I have, you know, just go ahead and invest in things like try new things, uh, and test out and see if it's gonna, you know, work out or not. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, like for me, the priority was, and still, you know, it's always going to be like making sure the family's financial needs are met. Once that is taken care of, then everything like the, the leftover money that we have, uh, in the business is, Hey, let's just go out and invest and, uh, let's look at different projects that we have if one project is going to give us 10% versus the other is going to give us 25%. What's the likelihood of 10% versus 25% and kind of, uh, just make decision based on that. I mean, I love it, man. Cause really what I heard there was is that you had a goal, but really more so is that you had a plan and you executed the plan to yep. then achieve the goal, right? You've probably heard this before, but, um, I want to say it real quick, a goal without a plan is a dream. Yep. Right. Absolutely, man. Oh, you had a goal, but you more importantly than that, you had a plan, you stuck to it and that plan helped you balance the, the risk and the reward from those, from those investments. Yeah, absolutely. Man. Yeah. That was just knowing kind of, you know, starting with the end of the mind, Hey, this is where I want to be. And then you make it, okay, whatever I need to do, like decisions that you're making, does the decision align with my end goal? If it does, let's go ahead. If it doesn't, then it's a distraction, you know? Uh, I mean, it's much easier said than done. You know, I feel like every day I'm struggling with those distractions, you know, just staying focused and not getting, you know, pulled into some rabbit hole, of like shiny objects. Yeah. We, we all struggle with it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, once we get to the, to the millionaire mark, right. It's, yeah. it's, it's probably never going to not be a problem. It's just how to know where to focus. And, you know, your words here were ultra focus, hyper focus. I think you said hyper focus. Yeah. Hyper focus is that's so important. Cool. Yeah.